Huh? How's the kite, bud? How's the fucking kite? I like it. It's just one of those days, man. How high up in the sky is the kite? It's pretty high up there, I'd say. A thousand feet. Flying around. Some... What are you doing with your little ball cap? Bob's, what the fuck? It's like, why? Why? Why were you doing that? What was he doing? It was annoying. Whatever it was, you were... Oh, uh, I was screwing it on and taking it off. Look at that. What was going through your head? <clears throat> I'm thinking of the physics behind it. Whoever oh. invented the screw tops, pretty smart. Welcome to the park after the dark on October the 21. <clears throat> I can't believe it's this late already. Who did invent the screw top, man? Jimmy Screw. Reggie Top. Why don't you look it up in your smart box? Jimmy Screw and Reggie Top, they partnered up and invented the screw top. You know you're baked when you're fucking Googling who invented <laughs> the screw top who cap. Invented the screw cap. It must have been somebody after Billy Cork. Yeah, Billy Cork started the whole trend of closing up bottles. But he became obsolete. <laughs> Till Jimmy Screw and Reggie Cap came along. Guy named William Painter. I bet he's a William Painter fuck. didn't invent the screw did, top, man. did he? 1892. He invented a bunch of shit. So he's been around for a long time. He stopped painting, probably. No, it's not spelled like that. Pull up his Pull uh, pie offs and twist offs. Pull up his other inventions, Willie Painter. He invented a whole bunch of shit. Smart guy. Are you serious? Yes. Willie Painter, he's right up there with fucking Thomas. Benjamin Franklin and Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Edison. Thomas Edison, you know how he invented the light bulb? He was wiring copper wire. He was nuts. Try to give himself a jolt. I don't believe you that. He was. He, he couldn't get his wiener hurt, so he was putting electrodes on his nuts to see if he could blast it up and his knob lit up. Are you, what? Yeah, that's well, how he invented okay. the light bulb. Are you shitting with me right now? No. His knob started glowing. He's like, I'm going to invent a light bulb. Well, there's no fucking way that's true. Thomas Edison. It's a good story, though. You could... You could Thomas you know. Edison couldn't get his wiener hard. Trying to wire up a thing to get his... I've never heard that story. No. Yeah. Hmm. His knob started glowing. He's like, holy okay. fuck. This is a... Million dollar Same idea. Same sort of principle as Rudolph's nose, I guess. Similar. You know what? The screw, screw cap was actually first introduced in the 1950s. 19? So, yeah. So, he, Buddy was just like, let's do this. And then it just kind of went away. With that. He was happened. probably too fucked up to get, it, to get a prototype. Was, How do you make a prototype wrong. back then? Right. Yeah. You know, you have to whittle it. Hard to whittle a screw cap. Fucking very interesting shit here, man. What else did Willie Painter invent? All right, how do you like? What are, what are you talking about? Just he invented the Willie fucking Painter cap. Inventions. That's enough. No, but he invented a whole bunch. Of, just put in Willie Painter inventions. Willie Painter. He invented some big stuff, not the oh, no. maybe as big as the airplane oh, or stuff like that. But you're not wasting my fucking time. Maybe it was just household items. Painter, like the slap chop. He I don't think invented. he invented that. But it was like fucking back in the 1800s. But they had they slap chops in the 1800s. They slap chops, man. They did. Well, they okay. Springs back we have then. Willie Painter. Okay. What he's, do you yeah, think? he's a Fortune 500 company man back in the day, huh? Oh, yes. fuck. And it's not just bottle caps. No, I'm trying to think. He invented something way bigger than the bottle cap. Okay. If he's Fortune 500, yeah. It's bigger than a bottle cap. Bob's he didn't event he didn't event anything other than that. no man so you became that wealthy from a he, bottle cap wow see a simple idea fucking blew up man that's what i keep trying to tell you guys doesn't take fucking much this is a bit of a weird one this bakery in san francisco made a pan solo oh hand solo pan bread yeah and yeah, six foot high hand solo when he was Crypto gelatically frozen. He was in carbonite. Okay. Well, it looks kind of like that, except it's made out of bread. It took weeks to fucking. I don't and know. solo. So I was thinking, well, that's kind of fucked. Why would you do that? But apparently, they're entering it in the annual 
scarecrow contest. <laughs> really? Yeah. It wouldn't be a very good scarecrow if it's made of bread. You That's going to attract them. That's what Bob's I was sort of thinking. Why? I fucked up. There's more to this painter guy. Yes. You're right, man. I knew it. Willie Painter. Yeah. He uh, he invented the, a paper folding machine and the safety injection seat for most fucking trains. What? A what? Safety injection seat for fucking trains? Injection or ejection? Ejection. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big fuck up. Ejection seat for trains. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up. I wouldn't think that'd be a very big seller. Yeah. Well, when oh. would you use it? And there's a de another machine detecting counterfeit currency. Oh, yeah. That's the one I'm thinking of, I think. He was inducted to, into the Hall of Fame back in 2006. Willie Painter. What a fucking champ that guy was. If you're going to enter into a scarecrow contest, what would you build? Probably not a bread sculpture. No. <laughs> Probably something doused in crow poison. Yeah, that might work. You know, like a big lump of poison. Crow poison. I'll fucking teach them. Hey? Eh? 